Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. Last episode we won our freedom and we won this awesome buggy from a chocobo race. Dio mentioned in his letter that Sephiroth was heading towards Gongaga and oh look at that, we just happened to be right in front of Gongaga. So let's go get him, shall we? I'm coming for you Sephiroth. Oh, hello. Is someone there? Oh, the Turks, we haven't seen these guys in a while. Hey, Rude. Who do you like? What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? No one here except for us. Tifa. Tifa, huh? Hmm. That's a tough one. But poor Elena. She. You. No. She likes Sung. I never knew that, but Sung likes that ancient. Oh boy, what a hassle, huh? What are they talking about? They're talking about us. It's so stupid. Uh-oh. They always talk about who they like or don't like. But Sung is different. Oh! Oh no! It took a lot of cool in that <laughs> it's us, you know? They're here! They're really here! Heh. <laughs> then it's time! Rude, don't go easy on them even though they're girls. Um, there's only one girl with us. Don't worry, I'll do my job. I'm professional after all. Then we're counting on you. I'll report to Sung and let him know we are he they're here. It's been a while. Payback time for what you did in Sector 7. Sector 7? Uh, that's sad. That's as far as you go. Yeah, it is kind of sad we forgot about Sector 7, huh? Like, uh, our whole team died because of the- because of what happened there. Fire! Well, I'm gonna give you some lightning. Drop some lightning on your heads. And freeze you a little bit so I can burn you to- burn you to crisp. Hey! Right. So yeah, we're fighting Reno and Rude. The- we fight them a couple times. They're not really that bad. I think the only time they are challenged is the final time you fight them. Although there's an optional time you can fight them. And actually the final fight is kind of optional too actually. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I will though, spoilers. And right now Shiva's gonna do some massive damage by freezing their asses. Doing some good damage. You, know, you can always count on someone to do the heavy duty damage. Here comes some hellfire! The thing that annoys me sometimes with uh, like using summons though is the animations sometimes do take too long and I kind of get, you know, a bit anxious. I like to do things with my hands, you know. Uh, let's go use our near break. And you can't really do anything during a uh, limit break because uh, like, if a character has a turn, you have to wait till a limit break animation's done to select a target. And that kind of gets annoying. Oh, you heal. Okay, I think we're gonna have to take out Rude first then. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. Let's throw shit, shall we? Let's throw Saber of Rude. Uh, let's go heal. And let's go for a big shot. Ow. Oh, Cloud's about to get his lair break and you're gonna be in trouble when that happens. Do you have anything worth stealing? I don't know. I don't really use the uh, steal that much. Oh boy. Stop killing him! Yeah, Rude has definitely gotta go. Seems to kind of the heavy duty healer. That's your magic. I am defeated, but I will be back. I, I like how he just quietly sneaks out of there. <laughs> oh, and Rio's done too. Bye! That was a waste of my time. Hey, Barrett levels up. Nice. We got an X potion. I don't like this. It's like the whole world knows where we're going. Yeah. 
They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. Then that means... A spy? Maybe? No. No way! I don't even want to think that there's a spy. I trust everyone. Alright, well, well, we'll come back here, but I need PHS because I want to play a little game with you guys because... Yeah, there's obviously talk now about there being a spy with us because how else would they know we were coming here, right? So let's play a little game and let's find out who the spy is. This shouldn't take too hard. Like, first off, we'll eliminate the obvious because, uh, Quow Bear and Tifar with Avalanche, which is, uh, you know, anti Shimra, so they are safe. Yuffie is from Wutai, and Wutai has, like, a history with the Shimra, so they despise the Shimra, so Yuffie is also safe. Eris has been running from the Shimra all her life, so she is also safe. And Red just escaped being a research specimen, so he is also safe. Process of elimination that only needs one character that is kind of suspicious. And the only character that we didn't really have a choice to join us is like, I'm joining you where you, where you want to earn like it or not. I always knew there was something about that cat. Anyways, now we can go to Gone Gaga. I just wanted to leave for a moment to, you know, play that little process of elimination with you guys to figure out who the spy is. It really wasn't that hard to figure out. Oh, hello. I forgot there were encounters here. Whoa, you are a big bug. I don't think i ever seen you before, and I played this game a lot. Well, you are a bug, obviously, so we're going to use some fire on you. Attack? Oh, butterfly attack. Oh, boy. i never seen this thing before. Oh, it wasn't that bad, but still, i never seen that before. I thought I encountered every enemy in this game at least one time, but I don't remember ever seeing that before. Well, just like everything else that the Shamra touches, ruin. All right, a ruined reactor. Yeah, that's a Shamra for you. Up. Oh. Ah, oh, look who's here. It's Scarlet, head of Shimra Weapon Development. Yeah, and Sung. And didn't Elena run his way to, you know, report to Sung? Where's she at, then? Uh-oh, she's coming this way. Oh, okay. Him, this isn't any good either. You only get junky materia from junky reactors. Junky materia, junky reactors, huh? This reactor's a failure. Well, it's ruins. What do you expect? What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. You seen any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get on it right away. Please, we could make the ultimate weapon if we only had some. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, the weapon development's been getting a bigger budget. I didn't know Hojo was gone. I thought he was just uh, taking a vacation. I envy them. But even if we make the perfect weapon, could that stupid Hedegar even use it? You mean Mr. Gua? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course he can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Hedegar was your boss. <laughs> well, he doesn't need to know. Let's go. Yeah, we can, talk about, we can talk bad about him. I know he's my boss, but he doesn't have to know anything I said. Big, large, huge materia. An ultimate weapon. The perfect weapon. This, what are the Shimra up to? Well, whatever they're up to is probably means uh, troll for us. There they go. Bye bye. All right. There's something shiny back there. Let's reach for it. Titan materia. You call it that junky materia? Well, I guess it kind of is. Titan is something I don't really use that much, but we got him now. Yay. I mean, the Earth Element in general is something I don't really use that much of. Well, you are big! Oh, we attack. Ow. Once I get my Nymph Break, you are in trouble, buddy. Ah, big Spyro! Well. Alright, attack. And Cross Slash! You're in trouble, buddy. You're gonna wish you haven't done that to me. 
Oh, you're still alive. Holy hell. I want to see much help you have left, so get better his turn so I can use sense. Level 21, wow. Oh, you don't have much help. I'll have Quell finish you off. Bow. There we go. I want to learn my level 2 near break, which is why I waited for Cloud. Hey, we leveled up both. That's cool. Alright, well, we are all the, uh, reactor. Now we can go to Gongaga. I thought there's a material laying around, uh, during this path. Maybe it's on a different screen. Oh, there it is. I knew it was here. Death Blow! Oh, I'm putting that on. I think that would be great for Barret. Yeah, there we go. And now we will go into Gongaga. Death Blow is one of my favorite materials, by the way. Oh, it's you again! You up for another round, buddy, huh? Alright, here we go. Cool. Okay, is anyone gonna do anything? Oh, okay. Oh, Bear has been stopped. That's why he's not attacking. Okay. Oh, no. We win. Hey, crowd levels up. Cool. Alright, we made it to Gongaga. Kind of a run-down village. And the only village in uh, this world that has a graveyard. Oh. A ruined reactor. Quow, why are you surprised? We literally were just there. Like, literally, we were just there. Why are you surprised? Hello. Huh, did you want something? Uh, let's hear your story. We voted to outlaw the use of Mako energy and live with nature. Ever since the explosion. Good, good choice. Alright, what well, you got accessory-wise then? I have money to spend after all. Oh, you got some good stuff. Headband is protection from sleep? I didn't know that. Protection from darkness, poison. Berserk. Mystify materia. Time materia. And heal and transform. I'm going to visit the R shots before I make a decision because time is something I'm thinking about because I like haste and... Well, I do like slow, but I use uh, haste more. Hello. Uh, need something? Uh, let's hear a story. It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find piece of it left all over town. Well, it was a big explosion, you know. It's a reactor that blew up after all. Alright, need a room. 80 gil a night. Well, that's not that expensive. I'll stay. Sure. I do need to heal up after all. I, it was a hard journey to get here. Not really, but still. The Turks were the biggest challenge. Thank you. An X-Potion? Anything in the room? Not really, okay. Alright, let's go up here. Hello? A white M phone, that's for cat shit. This is Gongoga Village! Many people died here in a Mako Reactor explosion! Oh, is that so? So I think that shop we were just in is the only shop. Because I know what this house is. Oh, there's a house here. No, this is the house I was thinking. You a traveler? Hey, wait! That where your eye. You in soldier? Was in soldier, not any longer. Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zach. It's been close to 10 years since he left for the city. Saying that he didn't want to live in the country. 
He left saying he's going to join Soldier. You don't hear about Zack and Soldier? Hmm. I don't know. This scene is a little bit different if you take uh, Tifa and Eris with you. Because both of them knew Zack. Zack. I don't know anything about that man. But that name sounds familiar. Why? Look deeper, Cloud. I'm sure you know very well who he is. Alright, let's go in here then. Oh, there is another shop. Okay, I thought this was Zack's house, which is why I avoid going here earlier when I had a choice. Uh, let's hear your story. One day, there was a huge explosion. Many people died in it. Oh, damn. Alright, let's buy items. What do you got? Potion, high potion, phoenix down, tent. I'll take a tent, actually. Maiden's kiss. Cornucopia. Soft, hyper, tranquilizer. I'll take that and take that. And I think that's all I'll need. Anything worth selling? I mean, there's this I'm probably never going to use again. Alright. Well, I guess I'll buy the time material. Did you want something? Yeah, I want to buy. I want to buy from you. Six thousand gildal. I'm gonna be broke after that. Holy hell! All right, lightning, fire, ice. Uh, let's take ice off. Let's take fire off. Barrett has fire, and we'll give you time. There you go. Now crowd can make things move a little faster. And that'll be it for Gungaga, so let's uh, get the hell out of here, shall we? As far as I know, there's nothing else here. Unless I'm forgetting about something obvious, which I don't think I am. Alright, well, I guess Sephiroth was in here! That was a little... well... no, it's not. I was gonna say that, that was a little waste of time, but it wasn't. We got Titan out of it, we learned that uh, there's a spy among us. We learned that the Shimmer are looking for big, huge materia. And we got a battle. And we also learned about Gundaga. And a blown up reactor. Hi. How are you guys doing? You looking for a fight? So am I. Don't you dare turn me to stone. Well. Yuffie now is on a time limit. 29 seconds past, she's gonna be a statue. Oh my god! Long animations also that I can't skip over. Alright, let's try and make this quick. I don't want anyone turning into statues. Nitro Magic! Well, we're, you're about to be a statue, I guess. Because that's happening and I can't stop it. Alright, let's, uh, desperation time. Let's get Ifra out here. Alright, you're gone. Maybe there's a chance. I won't need Ifra, maybe. Well, it's happening, though. I'm gonna burn you! And see, this is what I mean. You can't, uh, select any commands until the animation's over. And that kind of annoys me. You guys know how trigger happy I am and when there's a command, I just, you know, I want to have that character doing something. I hate waiting. Hey, we win. And no one was turned into a statue. So nice. Alright, let's cross over to the next area. Eh. Eh. Right up here is where we have to go. Oh, I remember this area. I never really was fond of this, uh, of this part. Cosmo Canyon. Ugh. Oh, it's gonna happen. Pow, pow, pow. Attack. These things look like Sahijins. They look kind of weird. I don't know how to describe them. They look, they're kind of frog faced, I guess. Alright, 
Oh, sorry, snake faced. And with turtle shells and basically other aquatic parts. So that's basically an aquatic mutation of. Oh, you're hiding in your show now, huh? Well, we're gonna have to burn you out. And there we go. He wins just like that. Awesome! Alright. Alright, there's our Cosmo Canyon. Something you should know about this. You try and drive past it on the buggy, it will break down. But if you don't want the buggy to get broken, you can uh, disembark here and go to Cosmo Canyon from here. But the reason the buggy breaks down is because you can't go to the next town until you do Cosmo Canyon. I don't really plan on ever backtracking, so I guess I'll let the buggy break down just to show you guys the full experience. Yeah, they really don't want you skipping uh, Cosmo Canyon. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, it's broken. Oh man, a breakdown? Now? Imagine if that happened while we were crossing a river. That wouldn't be good, but... Yeah, we made it to Cosmo Canyon. Nice. And I apologize for a short video, but Cosmo Canyon is going to need its own episode, so... This is where we are going to stop for today. So thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to Final Fantasy VII. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody. Alright, guys. Since this episode was a little bit short, I decided to revisit Gong Gaga and show you guys how uh, the scene at Zack's house is different if you bring uh, Tifa and Eris with you. So, let's go do this. You a traveler? Hey, wait. That glare in your eye. You in soldier? Again, wasn't soldier. Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. It's been close to 10 years since he left for the city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he's going to join Soldier. You ever hear of a Zack and Soldier? Hmm, I don't know. Zack? Young lady, you know him? I remember he wrote us uh, 6 or 7 years ago saying that he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? Yes, yes it was. I can't. Zack. Yeah, Tifa knows him too. What happened to you two? I don't know. Let's go talk to them and find out. There's Eris. Eris. What a shock. I didn't know Zack was from this town. Didn't he tell you he was from Gungaga? It's been a while since I played Christmas Court, but I'm pretty sure he told you where he's from. You know him? Didn't I tell you? He was my first love. Well, you mentioned you had a first boyfriend, but you never gave us a name, so... No, you didn't tell us. Zack. Soldier first class. Same as Cloud. Yeah, is that coincidence, I wonder? Strange. There aren't that many who make first class, but I've never heard of him. That's alright. It's all in the past now. I was just worried because I heard he's been missing. Missing? I think it was five years ago. He went out on a job and never came back. He loved women. A real ladies man. He probably found someone else. Oh yeah, she never found out what happened to him. Hey. What's wrong? Poor guy. I don't really mind that I haven't heard from him, but I feel for his parents. Let's go, Cloud. Now vote Tifa. Zack. Do you know him? N no, I don't know him. Your face tells me differently. I told you I don't. Uh, Alright then, take it easy. Tifa, when are you going to stop lying and start telling the truth? Just saying. That sounds just like you. Leaving town and saying I'm joining Soldier. Yeah, he kind of had the same, same story as Cloud. I wonder why. 
There were a lot of guys like that back then. You must really be something making it in Soldier over a group like that. I really respect you. I just got lucky. Don't be so humble. Cloud, thanks for caring. No problem. But seriously, when are you going to start telling me the truth? Alright guys, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll pick up from Cosmo Canyon for our broken buggy. See you guys then.